The remains of a local World War II soldier are finally back home where they belong, just in time for Memorial Day. Family and the local community held a graveside service in Newtown for Army Private Walter G. Wildman, and Fox 29 photojournalist Pete Santo has the story. This young man fell in 1944, and he fell in uh, the Hurricane Forest in some of the worst war fighting conditions that can exist. Private Wildman, he was actually injured about 38 days prior to his death. Uh, he was shot in the jaw. He was evacuated to England where he recovered and then was sent right back into the fight where he eventually, you know, met his end. The road to his identification was very, very long. Uh, we didn't have DNA or that kind of technology back then, so he was actually misidentified early on in the process. And it wasn't until recently that family members were sought out, found, uh, donated DNA so that we could make positive identification and finally give Private Wildman a final burial. Didn't know a whole lot about the Wildman side of the family, but um, heard the story about Walter and the Army contacted me about my relation to him and I thought it was important to be here to honor him and his sacrifice and then also honoring all veterans. There's just an attachment between military people. There's a connection no matter what. It just exists. It's, you know, you can't get around it. Brothers in arms, you know? So that's why I'm here. There are so many Walter G. Wildmans out there that never get to this situation, never, never come home. So to honor someone they are able to bring home is very, very important.